Juneau is a busy modern city thrust against a 15,000 square mile ice capped range of mountains with water on the other side. In Alaska, nature dwarfs human achievement and yet up against these elemental forces, the people persist and even thrive. Not only do they thrive, they have fun. Juno still has the rollicking energy of those two miners, Joe Juno and Richard Harris, who discovered gold here in the 1880s. In the 1940s, the mines closed and government replaced mining as the chief occupation. But Juno never lost that frontier sense of optimism and excitement. There are, of course, all the modern buildings that one would expect in a state capital, but the real flavor of Juno is that of the Old West. It's not hard to imagine what those days and nights were like during the peak of the gold boom. And still today, the Alaska Hotel with its antique furnishings shows what a visitor to this town could expect in the way of accommodations back in the days when gold was king and Victoria was queen. But unlike old western towns of the lower 48, Juneau has a glacier within walking distance. The famous Mendenhall Glacier is receding, and as it does, the land-hungry people of Juneau follow it with buildings. Because of its geographic limitations, the city of Juneau has trouble finding the space it needs. Ironically, it's actually the second largest city in the world in terms of geographical size, but one of the smallest in terms of usable space. It's the capital of the state of Alaska, but a capital without room to grow. In 1974, the people of Alaska voted to move the state capital to Anchorage, but they never voted in the funds for the move. Today, Juneau remains the political capital, but because of its location and its room for growth, Anchorage has become the financial capital of Alaska.